While searching around in our game room for something to play, we found ourselves staring at the HD collection of Uncharted and the glistening copy of Uncharted 4 and thought, what a wonderful complete series of stories all tied up together in a large metaphorical bow. Well, we do hope nothing tries to shoehorn its way into the franchise unnecessarily. Live from the PlayStation Experience, look at this new Uncharted game. It's, it's the same, but this time with women. Yay. So here it is, the review of a totally necessary, not at all cashing in, took less than a year to develop, pivotal, honestly standalone Uncharted 5. Or 6, depending on if you think the Vita Sojourn was canon. We'd like to start off this review by stating, in typical female fashion, it's fine. In all honesty, it's a good game. No one's calling into question Naughty Dog's ability to make a good game. This one has solid mechanics, mostly due to being built on tried and tested formula from the last four games. But there's still banter we've come to expect from a game in the franchise, there's still gorgeous scenery, there's still puzzles. So why are we feeling like we're being left so cold? Let's start with the characters, Chloe and Nadine. One's a treasure hunter and the other one's a person with a gun. Sounds suspiciously similar to another duo we know, but we'll let that go. Starting any relationship can be awkward. So the choice of starting at the beginning of Chloe and Nadine's is a strange one. While we understand that this would potentially be a new dynamic to focus on, rather than an established relationship like that of, oh, I don't know, just a random example, Jake and Tully from a totally different game, it just comes across as somewhat catty and awkward. Kind of like we're watching the finals of Miss Most Badass Pageant, and they're both going hard out for the crown. The banter isn't all bad, and it did leave us exhaling slightly louder from the nose, but we've seen it before and more successfully done. Next up, the gameplay and story. Summing up in a sentence, we're after an artifact, as are other people. We deserve it more because we're the main people in the story. There's some character developments, hidden motives, and like friendships form, sightseeing, history, and shooting. Stop as if you've heard this one before. On the subject of treasure hunting, we're still kind of angry about how it's apparently not a big deal to destroy amazing monuments and scenery all in the pursuit of some other artifact that's supposedly more awesome. And of course, their nonchalant attitude to murder. They can all be glossed over with a sassy comment snappily delivered by uh, Chloe. It's Chloe. As we touched on earlier, there's not much to add with the game players. It's got solid bones. They just haven't really done anything with them. To sum up, this isn't a bad game, but it is more of the same. We've seen it done before and more successfully. We wanted this to be an addition to the list of badass women that drive the action of the game forward, but it wasn't. We wanted it not to be a Drake game. We wanted it to be a departure from the known formula. The continents were different. They were women. They were new working together. These were all makings of a great game, but it just failed to deliver. We could pretty much just ignore the fact that it was Chloe and pretend it was Drake which was really easy to do. For this, we give a 7 out of 10. Good, but could be better. So we add this to our game room, reluctant to put it with the Uncharted family, and place it instead with our things that could have been great pile. Connor looked like he needed a friend anyway. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Bye. There's so many buttons you can press.